Hey, Todd, I, uh, I just want to ask you about the last four games. Obviously, you guys have dealt with injuries. You've also faced some tougher opponents. Uh, but in terms of your pass defense, um, you've given up more touchdowns, more yards than any teams in the NFL the last four games. W what do you think, without oversimplifying, what's the most important thing you guys need to do to get back to the defense that you had there in the first eight games and getting off to such a good start? Get back to fundamentals and communicate better. I think our communication was lacking on a couple plays, and we busted some coverages here and there, and we got to get back to fundamentals and basics. This uh, this Vikings offense, obviously Cook is is a big part of it, and you guys have handled the run so well. What are the challenges that, that they have in terms of a one-two punch at receiver with Thielen and with, with Jefferson? Well, they got great receivers, obviously, between the two of them. They make big plays every week, and going into our game, I'm sure they're feeling pretty good because of the plays we gave up. But along with the running game, uh, they tie those two things in very well, and they make you play on its football. Thanks, Todd. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to Scott Reynolds. Hey, Coach. Um, with you guys facing a Gary Kubiak offense, that means play action bootlegs. Can you just speak to the importance of Shaq and JPP and Nelson uh, maintaining their their, uh, their discipline on the outside and, and keeping Kirk Cousins from getting outside the pocket with those open passing lanes? I mean, I think it's important for everybody. They have more than the play action and the boot stuff. I mean, they have a very good empty game and drop back game as well. So they make you play honest football and read your keys, and everybody's got to be fundamentally sound. Thank you, Coach. Yep. All right, we're going to go over to Joey Knight. Coach, everybody we've talked to this week has said, everybody on the defense has said, you know, fundamentals is something we've got to get back to. What specific fundamentals, in your opinion, eye discipline, tackling, uh, assignments? I mean, it's all the above. You know, as you go through the season and you get to that middle of the season, you have that lull where you kind of get away from fundamentals a little bit and you just start working on the game plan and we got to get back to what we've been doing best and what we know how to do and that's the basic fundamentals of football whether it's eye discipline backpedaling uh gap recognition and technique and hat and hands just old school football and playing the way that we know how to play i'll go over to jenna lane Hey, Coach. Um, I know oftentimes coaching staffs will use the bye week to uh, to kind of self-scout themselves. Um, I was curious if if you did that as a defense, and, and if so, what were some of your observations, some of the things maybe you discovered about yourself, uh, if anything? Well, we do it every week, and we understand why we do it. Uh, some things we do on purpose, some things we look at more or less to see what we're getting out of a lot of things that we call from the other teams and the same plays that show up over and over on us again that – we can practice and get better at it or tweak some things and change some things defensively. Um, and, and you've played in, uh, you've coached in some big games before. And I'm just curious, you know, as you, as you near the month of December, you know, I, I, I always hear this, this saying that teams that, that, you know, ultimately prevail are the ones that play great defense and run the ball in the month of, of December. Do you feel like defense is, that like they have to tap into an extra gear? Do you feel like you have to kind of tap into an extra gear as a play caller when you approach the final four weeks of the season and, and you're fighting for a postseason berth? Well, I feel like that every week. So the last four games isn't going to change anything I have to do. We don't have to tap into an extra gear. We just have to play the way we know how to play and play our brand of football at this point of the year. Everyone's seeing you, you've seen everybody. So you have to do what's best for your team. And we have to get back to what we do best and not worry so much about the opponent. So this isn't like when you reach for like the hot sauce in the back of your, uh, it's, it's not like you reach for hot sauce in your bag or anything like that. Like there's, there's no special plays that you bring out when it comes time for the postseason or anything like that. That's probably a postseason question, but you always have plays that you bring out every game. It's just a matter of whether you get to use them but there's nothing to get out for the last four games of the season to say, okay, this is this, this is that. We just have to play and not beat ourselves. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. All right, we're going to go over to Tom Krasnicki. Hi, Coach. Good to talk to you. Hope you're doing well. I want to ask you about Sean Murphy Bunting. In his second year, uh, there appear to be some struggles there. So what do you attribute to that? Is it poor technique? Is it a lack of confidence? What's going on with him? No, like I said, he started off the season good, like I said before, and he had a little much on his plate, and he's been battling injuries a little bit going back. Uh, 
the last couple of weeks, we thought he's been doing a good job and playing better every week. Hey, he's a young guy. He's just got to stay with it. We believe in him. He believes in himself. So I think he'll come around fine and play well. When you see a guy like Justin Jefferson from the Vikings, a rookie who runs about as good of a routes as a five or a seven year veteran, what do you see in that guy on film? Uh, very talented, uh, big time playmaker. I'm sure he learned a lot from Thielen. Uh, excellent route runner, as you said before. Great off the ball. Great at the point of attack down the field, whether he's jumping over you or just running by you. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a full time job for the secondary. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. Yeah. We have time for a few more. We're going to go over to Steve Isbitz. Coach, other than fundamentals, is there anything specific to some of the tackling problems in recent weeks? Is that mental at all, or is that just fundamentals? No, that goes with fundamentals. Tackling is not a mental thing. It's just a matter of wrapping up and getting the guy down. It's a lot of want to, and we definitely want to, but we've missed quite a few in the last couple of weeks, and we got to get back to getting guys on the ground. And uh, with your name coming up, uh, as a potential head coach somewhere in 2021. Is that any kind of distraction for you? I know you've been through it before, but does that get in your head at all? No, nah, it's news to me. I don't read much. I'm trying to get into the playoffs. Thanks. All right, we're going to close out with a question from Leo Haggerty. Coach, when you look at the Vikings, they want to run the ball probably 20, 30, 35 times a game with uh, Dalvin Cook that's really your strength is stopping the run. How do you prepare for something like this? You prepare for it, but at the same time, they have a great passing game. So, you know, they mix it up very well and you don't get the runs when you think you're going to get them. So we got to be ready at all times for both. And we're preparing to get ourselves better and clean up our mistakes. And then we'll worry about the Vikings on Sunday. But I think when we just come out and play our game and do the things we're supposed to do and not beat ourselves, I think we're fine. So, you know, it's a big game for us. It's a big game for them. So it should be exciting. We look forward to it. All right. That's all for today.